Hello, low brass. So if you're trying to work on getting your higher notes, um, I'm gonna give you a few tips to help you make that happen. The first thing to start is always with buzzing. Um, so you take your mouthpiece, this goes for trombone or baritone, even tuba, and you can blow into it, but with really fast air. And you wanna get your lips really flat, mm, and blow through the letter M. <laughs> See how flat my lips are? If, you, if you're buzzing and your lips go like this, did you hear how much lower that actually sounded? It's because the lips weren't tight enough. So you have to make your lips, I don't want to say tight, let's say firm. Get, get them firm and engage the muscles. Really like, you can even hold them, okay? So now try this. The second part is air. Your air has to be very fast. So um, you want to think about blowing a tiny tornado through your, through your instrument or your mouthpiece and keep the air moving fast. Don't just start it fast and then start slowing it down because that's how the notes fall lower. So, sometimes I'll even take my finger and go to help show that we want to keep that air moving fast and forward. So, you can go called a siren it kind of if you think about it, it kind of sounds like when you hear the sirens going if there's like a fire truck going all I'm doing is I'm changing the intensity of my air the speed of my air so then your next step would be to put it into your instrument I'm gonna do it on baritone first and then I'll show it on trombone so here's I'm going for an F here. So if you're struggling with getting your Fs to come out, or if they come out a lot as Bs, this is a great exercise for you. So first is long tones. And you just want to get that to sound as steady as possible. Okay? You can do this with me if you're playing trombone or baritone. It's, you're going for that same sound. Ready, set, breathe. as long as you can. When you feel like you're running out of breath, just stop, take a new breath, and, and try again. Another exercise that you can do is called lip slurs. And basically that helps you go between your low note and high note. So we can do from best to F. So I'm not going to do any fingers, trombones. You just stay in first position and you're just going to go like this. I'm going to go F, best. together so we're gonna go for F best one two breathe again two breathe one more time ready breathe feel free to pause the video here and try that a few times until you feel comfortable another thing that we're working on as low brass players is going from F and higher. So the next note above F is G. And the way we play G is one and two on the baritone and fourth position on the trombone. Remember that fourth position is where the edge of the slide lines up with the edge of the bell. So what, the way we can do this is we just go F, G, and it's about your air. So I'm going to ask you to try something with me and we're just going to move our air and it's going to go like this. Did you hear the way I sang F, G? Did you hear the difference in my air to get the different notes? Okay, try that. Ready, set, breathe. So in other words, as you continue to blow. The longer you blow, the faster your air should get so that you can maintain those higher sounds that doesn't fall down low. So let's try F, G together. Ready? One, two, three. Again, two, three. Again, two, three. tricks for you to try to work on getting your higher notes on the baritone or trombone.